Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceAutoRestore.com. Uh, today I'd like to share with you another update. Uh, these are the side uh, rear panels from the 1981 Toyota Land Cruiser or the FJ40 uh, sport utility that we're working on and it's uh, obviously a custom build. Um, so in our latest video we shared with you we had the both driver and passenger doors where we had stripped um, the exterior of both doors to bare metal and we exposed the areas that need fabrication. So we've done the same thing now to these side panels. So uh, this panel, as you can see, is um, the driver's side. So it's the driver's rear. Um, we've removed all of the windows, the seals, the vent, and all of the hardware. Um, so, and then from that step, what we did is uh, we sanded the steel down to bare metal. So um, you've got quite a bit of damage along here, a lot of dents and so on that you can see with the low spots. Um, and then you come down the side. The factory never did a really, uh, and they did it intentionally, they never filled in these, these little um, uh, uh, pop riveted, or sorry, um, spot welded spots, sorry. Um, so they always seem to have the little dimples all the way across where the factory attached the outer panel to the inner panel. Because we're going to be doing a, a, a custom uh, build on it, we're going to want to fill these in and smooth it all out because it's going to have a really nice paint finish. So now that we have this, um, the outside of this panel uh, stripped to bare metal, we removed all of the body fillers and the different coats of paint and the old lacquer paint and lacquer primer that will be a problem. Um, later what we'll do is we'll end up, we'll sandblast uh, the window openings and the edges that are really strong. We just can't sandblast the side panels uh, because it will create some damage to the panels themselves. So with this uh, driver's side section, as I mentioned in an earlier video, uh, because we've changed the style of the rear doors, I think the camera can pick this up, um, you can see there's a considerable amount of damage, denting and binding, um, and then we have um, there's basically a template in behind here, and that's a section for the, uh, the swing out style of doors. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to cut this section completely out or off of this panel um, because there is a possibility of that plate in behind rattling and over time there'll be a lot of rust build up. So what we want to do is cut this out. Uh, we have the proper gauge of thickness of metal and we will re-weld the, the correct thickness of steel in this place um, and then grind it smooth and then we'll eliminate all the rust uh, that's trapped in behind here and it will eliminate all of the damage. So this is the driver's side. You can see over here behind me on the table uh, we're making uh, quite a bit of progress. So this is the rear uh, passenger section. So same kind of idea. Um, we basically removed all the glass and the rubber and then we've stripped uh, the exterior of the Bondo and so on. And uh, you can see, once again, we've got some, some uh, low spots in here where we have uh, some body filler from a previous repair and then remnants of some more body filler down here. So we'll be dealing with all of these sections. Uh, the main s step right here is to expose um, the sections that require cutting out and new steel putting in. So you can see here in this back plate, very similar to, I'm stuck here, so, uh, very similar to the, uh, to the driver's side rear section where the hinge plate was. So you can see this is the next step. Um, and it looks kind of sloppy right now, but I want to share with you, um, basically um, we cut that section out just like we were going to do on this other piece. And then this gauge of steel is the same thickness as the factory used. We eliminate all the rust in behind. Um, we apply a rust inhibitor um, paint in behind before we weld the new panel in. So now that we've got it all welded in and we filled in this edge, uh, later once we have all the other patching done, we'll grind all these welds smooth and then this will be just as shiny as this will. This is like a shipping primer uh, that's on top of our, our sheet steel. Um, so we're going to continue to go around and repair where need be. So the camera person can probably come around because we've got quite a bit of progress here. Um, this section, this uh, rectangular part, it was quite uh, punky. So we cut that piece out and welded it a new piece. 
and it's very common down here where there's stress and it's a little bit trickier panel we had to basically make a box here and then the bottom plate with a support piece to make it look exactly like factory so we cut out all of the rusted spots uh, made new pieces placed them in welded them in place and then we'll be grinding all that smooth so now we have the structural strength because before it was damaged and corroded uh, so now it's stronger and then I believe if I set this one up, you can see the bottom here too okay so now we've got the piece here and we've got the correct bend so once we grind these smooth um, there'll be absolutely no transition and then once this is uh, treated to a two-part epoxy after it's sandblasted it will hopefully eliminate corrosion for a long period of time and you can see most of this steel is untreated from the factory you can see all of the rust on the inside um, all they were able to get is overspray from when they, they painted the panel and it appears to be a, more of a, a desert gray uh, color originally and then someone's repainted it blue at some point. Um, so that's the progress so far on the side panels. Um, so it's going quite well. So this is for the 1981 custom build of the Toyota Land Cruiser or FJ40. Um, and I thank you for watching. I'm John from LastChanceAutoRestore.com.